I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. This video is the second video on the unified field theory. That you see the first video that explains how the four fundamental forces and also temperature is relative to one unified field or what I like to call one universal process. I will place a link here to that video. This video is going to explain how consciousness is part of this unified field. Conscious awareness in its most simple form as electrical activity in the brain that is aware of its own electrical potential. This theory can explain consciousness as the most advanced part of one universal process. We have electrical activity relative to the structure of the brain forming chemical changes or chemical reactions. Chemical energy is stored in the bonds that hold the atoms together. As the bonds form and break, we have the continuous exchange of photon energy with the future unfolding relative to the electrical activity and the structure of the brain. This is a totally universal process. The future is always unfolding with electrical activity relative to the structure of the atoms and the wavelength of the light. Electrical activity in the brain is the most fundamental component of consciousness. This is because conscious awareness is formed by this electrical potential that is always in the moment of now in the center of its own reference frame. We have an infinite number of dynamic interactive reference frames that make up our universe, that are continuously coming in and out of existence, with each reference frame having a timeline from the past into the future. It is this personalization of the brain, being in the moment of now, in the center of its own frame of reference, that gives us the concept of mind, with each one of us having our own unique personal view of the universe. This process is based totally on cause and effect. Consciousness is always in the forefront of creation, or the creative process. Therefore each individual is able to look back in time, in all directions from their frame of reference, at the beauty of the stars. It is a common belief that we travel through time, but in this theory, the atoms of the periodic table form their own space-time as part of a universal process of continuous creation. Life is an integral part of creation, with the flow of time as a process of continuous energy exchange, and our consciousness as a continuous stream of unbroken, ever-changing flow of ideas, feelings, dreams, hopes and emotions being part of the same universal process. The main effect this process of continuous creation or energy exchange has on us is the aging process. With a past we can never change and a future that only exists as a probability function or quantum wave particle function. But above all, this is a creative interactive process with the future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of our own actions. This can be in the form of art, poetry, music, or even mathematics. We are all connected by one universal process, and this process can be based on physics, representing a physical process with electromagnetism interacting with the atoms of the periodic table. The potential for conscious awareness must have always existed within the universe for intelligent life to have evolved. In this theory, this potential is formed at the most fundamental level by a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. Such a process will form entropy or disorganization with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we see in the complexity and diversity of cell life with conscious awareness representing the most advanced part 
of this universal process. The geometry of this process naturally forms three-dimensional space with the two-dimensional surface of the sphere representing a dynamic boundary condition with the inner concave surface forming negative charge and the outer convex surface forming positive charge. This two-dimensional surface forms the holographic principle. With the information of this three-dimensional process holographically encoded on the two-dimensional surface with photon vibrations or oscillations forming the movement of positive and negative charge. The polarity of electric fields always starts at positive charge and ends at negative charge with the direction of the field always from positive charge to negative charge. Relative to each object and life form, this process forms what we see and feel as the arrow of time, always moving from a past to an uncertain future. In these videos, I say that time is the most fundamental part of our lives, but it can also have no meaning at all with our ability to have memories of the past that may have happened many years ago. In this theory, it is the holographic nature of the unified field or universal process that forms the potential for memories, our ability to look back in time and recollect the past. Just as the squared pattern of a chessboard forms a structure for a game of chess, the brain forms a structure in three-dimensional space for the holographic principle to form the potential for memories of the past. When a hologram is broken, we see a whole image of the hologram in each individual broken part. Because conscious awareness is within this process, it is inverse. With each individual as part of the imperfect broken symmetry of life, having the potential to comprehend the whole. Just because this process uses the holographic principle, it does not mean that the universe is an illusion. As a continuum based on a universal three-dimensional process of energy exchange, everything is real, with consciousness and matter being connected by photon vibrations of the electromagnetic field. Because the universe is never at absolute zero, there is always the spontaneous absorption and emission of light or photon energy. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic waves continuously, forming what has been called the great dance of creation. Each photon vibration only occurs once, but the process of energy exchange is continuously forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we measure as a period of time. The atoms are continuously interacting with the electromagnetic spectrum, or what we commonly call light, with the exchange of photon energy forming the movement of positive and negative charge. When objects in our everyday life touch and interact, it is electrical charge that comes in contact. Every movement we take and every thought we make, there is an exchange of photon energy with the movement of charge. This process is relative to every living cell in our body with the build-up and organization of positive and negative charge across the membrane of each cell. In this way, cell life creates its own ripples in the fabric of space-time, forming its own evolutionary path relative to its energy and momentum of its own actions. For free will to exist as part of a physical process that can be explained by physics, one of the most fundamental things we need is uncertainty. 
This uncertainty is formed by light interacting with the electron probability cloud that surrounds each atom. When light is absorbed, it is spontaneously emitted, forming a wave function with an uncertainty that is mathematically represented by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. In this theory, this is the same uncertainty we have with any future event at the smallest scale of the creative process that we see and feel as the passage or continuum of time. When electromagnetic radiation or light interacts with an atom, it forms a photon-electron coupling or dipole moment with the movement of positive and negative charge. In this theory, this process represents the future unfolding photon by photon with the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. Many people have said on YouTube that everything is consciousness, and in a way I do not disagree with them, in the sense that consciousness is the most advanced part of a universal process that everything is based upon. In this theory we can have individuality based on the non-duality of one universal process, but we lose an important aspect of reality that can make everything logical if we just say everything is consciousness and then not try and explain how we can have the duality of individuality based on non-duality. In such a theory, the oneness that the mystic feels in meditation is based on the same process that forms the unity of physics and mathematics. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.